Berashiri. Situated around 200 kilometers north of the city of Dhaka, near the fringe amongst Bangladesh and India, Berashiri in the Netarkona district is picking up support with voyagers who acknowledge regular magnificence and appreciate going to places off the beaten track. With the terrific Durgapur artistic slopes as a background, the Shomshwari River is the centerpiece of the territory's grand environment. The shade of the waterways water changes as the level ascents and falls through the seasons and it is dependably an enjoyment to see. In the drier months, the waterway can be crossed by walking, while in the blustery season it swells in measure, yet is still moderately moderate streaming and vessels are accessible as transportation to cross the stream. Notwithstanding the common magnificence of Birishiri, Guests will locate the rich, social decent variety captivating. Ethnic gatherings found in the Netrakona district, of which Birashiri is a section, incorporate the Banai clan who talk their own vernacular called Banai, and are devotees of the Hindu religion. Likewise in the zone are individuals from the Buna clan who speak Bangla and practice Hinduism, the Garo clan who speak Achik or Garo and take after the Christian religion and the Hajong clan who speak Hajong and practice Hinduism. There is an ethnic gallery at Berashiri which offers knowledge into the history, conventions, dialects and culture of the different clans in the region. Guests to Berashiri can go by transport from Dhaka, observing that the last 30 kilometers of the trip is probably going to be an uneven ride as the street is harsh. In the town rickshaw drivers are accessible to take guests to all the best spots to visit and most voyagers make utilization of this choice, as the lion's share of rickshaw pullers are proficient about the territory, and it gives wage to local people. Spots to visit incorporate the royal residence of the Susan Lord, the Dasa Busha Sanctuary, and Ramakrishna Sanctuary close Kula Para and Lakhnath Baba Sanctuary. The orange backwoods and spice garden with its cinnamon and sound leaf trees give a devour to the faculties and a stroll along the sandy banks of the Shomshwari River is certain to be an unwinding, yet reviving, knowledge.